Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So let us continue here and create the, um, uh, the edit situation here. Uh, but before we do that, let's fix the price issue here. And maybe we need a primary subject just uh, to improve things here. So that at least we have everything here once a course is created. So let's fix that real quick. So what I want us to do is create a price table so that we can um, have prices uh, from the start here. So I'm going to go to my table, Udemy DB, and in here, we're going to add a new table called prices. So let's hit go there. Of course, we'll need an ID. We'll leave it at int and let's make sure it's auto increment and primary key. And then here we're going to create a tier because that's what Udemy has. Uh, it has, uh, maybe we can just call this one name or price name or something. So the name of a price, the actual price of that. And um, for the price, because we want this to be a decimal, so we're going to give decimal there. And then um, maybe we may want to disable this at some point, make it unusable. So I'm going to use tiny int as usual, length of one, because it's just zero and one. And we'll leave this uh, because it already knows, I think it's 10,2, two decimal places and 10 digits. And then name uh, variable character. The name here will be quite short. So maybe let's put it at 20 or maybe 30 like that. All right, and uh, let's hit save. Great. So at least now we have prices and we're going to use maybe the pricing itself, the price itself to find this. We will need to check if it's disabled when reading from the table. And who knows, we may want to search by name. This table will be quite small, so we can add a number of indices here without worrying too much about table size. Okay, so at least we have prices now. And the other input, which is the primary subject is already here in the main courses. So no problem there. And then we need to add a few records to the prices table. And the very first record will be, will have a price of free. So let's add that by just inserting in here directly. So I'm just going to write dear one and then the price is free. So this one is zero. That's the price. Disabled uh, zero. It's not disabled. So that's all I needed for now. And let's hit go. Okay, let's go back to the structure a little bit. On disabled, I want to change that and add a default value. Uh, default zero. And let's save that. Okay. Great, so that at least it has a default value of zero, whether we add a value or not. Let's go to browse. So we have tier one, price is zero, and disabled ID is one. So the reason I've added this basic record is because I want, um, I want there to be a record here at least. Uh, you know, I should have saved that insert um, query. But uh, if I want that insert query, again, I can just go to export. Um, where is this? I can go to export right there, try and export the table. And, and then I'm going to hit go. But before I do that, let's try and create the insert first. So let's go to price selected with selected show create so that we can copy the create first, so that we create the table before we do anything else. So I'm going to go to my core uh, config, is it? Nope, and not the config. This one is inside the database. 
class. Okay, great. So what I want is to duplicate uh, this right here. Okay, Control Shift D, we duplicate. This is not the users table, this is the prices table. So I'm going to paste uh, like that. That's the create create table if not exists. So I forgot to put the if not exists on these others. So let's just copy it from here. Copy that and let's put create table if not exists. Let's put like that. Same thing here. All right, good. We are good to go. Now with this one, we are running a query here, of course, but let me go to export. Actually, I have to select a table, which is prices, and then go to export and I can export this. Make sure you selected SQL. Mm, yes, select as SQL and hit go and then it exports so I can just um, open the containing folder and move that to sublime text what I really want is this is the create table thingy but I want uh, obviously all this is already there what I want is the insert so I'm just going to grab this one and copy and this is all I needed from here the rest I already have so right here where it says prices table um, I'm going to duplicate again so insert into prices table so the query is this one okay so let me move that here this way I'm just trying to make sure that um, yeah I'm just trying to make sure that um, we add at least one record from this which will be good at least and it's got an ID of one for the primary key so which means if this record already exists it's not going to insert a new one because there will be a conflict of the primary key there so that's why i'll leave that as it is all right so great we have that now all we need to do is make sure that uh, when creating a new course let's create another one let's add a primary subject here so i'm going to go back to the view of uh, courses view and there is the add section here at the top so we'll go to where is this okay so we have a select is it this one here wait 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 course category yes yes that's the one but i'm looking for this input right here which is the title so this whole thing here i'm going to duplicate okay like that okay and then i'll change every reference to title i will change that to uh primaries primary underscore subject like this okay so let's see here primary subject for everything that is cool but here a uh, placeholder let's put primary let's remove the underscore subject and then we'll put an eg there we'll say example photography uh, i think that's what they have on udemy i don't remember the other the other one photography or um, what else could be uh, a primary subject i don't know maybe vlogs vlogging or something i don't know just type something there okay so at least we have one extra item there let me come back to this and let's see that okay so here primary subject eg okay so everything looks cool all we need uh, we already have primary subject in the model and that's the course model 
it's already part of the allowed columns right here. So where is that primary subject? So it's going to save as normal. The only thing is we need to make it uh, mandatory. So here where we are validating, we are only validating the title and the category. But what I want us to do is duplicate the title thingy and then change this title reference to uh, primary primary subject. Okay, great. A primary subject is required. Uh, what else? Even here, same thing. Primary subject can only have letter spaces and so you can decide what you want here. If you don't want it to, if you want all characters to be allowed, you can remove this if statement here entirely and just check if it's not empty or not. Maybe this, these things can have uh, numbers, but not the title. Uh, I guess the subject can't have numbers either. So we'll leave that out. But otherwise, everything else is cool. So let's try and hit save here. So we have the error going on there. A primary subject is required, which is cool. Uh, and then one more thing we need to do is if I go to controllers and that's the admin. Let me go to courses here and add courses. So here where we have this, where we add a user ID, we need to add a price ID as well. So here I'm going to change that. Price ID will be equal to one. This way we have free as the price ID. And by the way, I have just remembered um, price one should be called free. I don't know why I named it tier one anyway. So let's change that to free like so. Okay, same thing in the database as well. Let's go to the prices table and let me just double click in there and just type free like that. Okay, so price name is free, price is zero. That makes more sense. Okay, great. So now that we have this, at least we can save some data. Let me show you here. Uh, a new testing course oh, um, photography for beginners and here primary subject is obviously photography and let's select uh, where are we selecting here I don't know photography and video and save the course was successfully created but let's go back here and this is what we are looking at. But the price isn't what we want here, right? So we are just not getting uh, the information we want here. So what I'll do is we go back to our cost model and let's go down here where we have these functions, um, get price, for example. So what I wanna do is just copy everything from get user because the situation is exactly the same. I'm going to paste right here in get price. The only thing that we we'll change instead of user ID here is we're going to look for price ID. So let me change every instance of user ID there to price ID. So if there's price ID, let's look at that. And then let's just say select or let's put a star uh, from not users, but prices. Okay, where ID is equal to ID. And uh, uh, let's see here, price ID, that's great. Uh, here, let's, sh we don't really need to change this, but it makes more sense if we do. So I'm going to change user to price. So price, price, price. This is irrelevant here, we don't need that. So that's specific to the user thing. So there we go and we are good to go. So now we'll have a price row as part of the list so that when we go to courses view um, down to the else statement here where we show price, where is that? It's right here. So instead of seeing price ID, we can just say, um, 
Actually, we needed that thing, uh, the thing I removed on the other side. <laughs> Where did I remove that? Cause, let me undo this. Yeah, this right here. Um, we can change name, price name to, uh, instead of first name here, we'll put name, but then we'll concatenate the actual price on the other side here and say price like this. Uh, this will be probably in dollars. Let's put a dollar sign there. Let's put a opening bracket just so it makes more sense. Let's concatenate another bracket over there like this. Okay, great. So that here, when I come back to courses, I can say um, price row instead like this and then name of that price. And then of course, we will put uh, this unknown just in case it's not there. Okay, great. So let's see how that looks. And there we go. So price free. Um, this one is unknown. But that's because this was created before we set everything up. But at least now we get something more useful when we create a new course. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.